Okay, new update. I heard back from Radiodity, and they wanted me to try a new firmware. Not a new firmware, but the 2023 firmware, which I have already tried. I confirmed it with a download on my computer that actually shows the exact same file name. So what I'm seeing is when I put that firmware onto the memory card and put it into the radio, it seemed like it took it, but it didn't. It went ahead and applied the firmware, but there was something corrupted in the firmware. I don't know what it was. Um, one thing I did go ahead and switch to was Belina Etcher versus Rufus. Now, based on what just happened, I'm going to say I'm not going to trust Rufus on this. Um, I just went ahead and did the update and I'll insert that video right here. Okay, so that updated and shut itself down. So now I'm going to take out the memory card. Memory card. I'm going to boot up the radio. We have the blinky. Okay, is back up. System settings. System info. App 1.1.7, base 1.1.4. There you go, exit. Firmware upgrade. Baseband is 1.1.6. Touching no other buttons, we're going to hit upgrade. Power must be plugged in to upgrade the baseband. The blinky radio is up. System setting, system info, V1.1.7 on the app, V1.1.4 on the baseband. We're going to exit. We're going to go to firmware upgrade. Baseband is V point one V one point one point six. Gonna hit upgrade. Got that fan that's going wackadoo over there. Okay. We got the done. We're going to go ahead and quit. And we're going to power cycle. So let's, before we do that, let's exit. 10 meters is open. Receives well. I'm on my random wire right now. Okay. Power off. Click, power back on, click. Turn that brightness.
this down just a little bit so we can see it. We got the blinky again. Okay, so we're gonna go up up into the mid 28s. We're gonna go system settings, system info, the 1.1.7. Baseband be 1.1.6. Okay. We've updated the firmware. We're going to go ahead and go exit. Power. 10 watts. We're going to flip to AM. We're going to hit that key button. Holy crap. Looky there. Corrupted firmware. It was corrupted firmware on the new download. So, I'm going to go ahead and put a link in the description to the correct firmware version to get your radio back working. Just so we can verify. 10 watts. 10 watt? So what I found out is that apparently something when it burned the image to the memory card for the replacement firmware, not for the new firmware. I'm still saying don't do the new update. Um, when it went ahead and did the new firmware, the replacement firmware, not the new, the replacement firmware, um, something didn't burn over correctly. So what I would say, don't do the new update still, but if you're having an issue reverting back to the old firmware, if you've done the, the new update and are having the issue with it, when you try to go ahead and go back to the old firmware and it doesn't work, try Bolina Etcher instead and see what happens. Um, Rufus, I'm on the newest version of Rufus. Let me take a look. I've got my computer sitting in front of me, so it'll take me just a second to find out which version of Rufus I'm on. Rufus 4.5.2180, which I downloaded recently, so it is a new version. Um, don't use it. Um, I was actually not real thrilled with the way that that actually panned out. So going to the old version through Bolina Etcher, that went through, seemed like it took the the image correctly. So it went ahead and created the, the card um, and ended up applying, as you saw in the video. It applied just fine. I up uploaded the, or updated the baseband again, which you will actually see in the screen that I was showing in that video. It showed that we were on 1.1.6. 1 um, yeah, still, don't do the update. I'm, I'm going to caution against it. Um, to me, it's an experimental update. It's not a, not a fully fleshed out update. So skip that one. Um, hopefully, they will go through and fix the issue, correct the firmware, and get us a functional firmware. I'm not blaming Radiotity. I'm not blaming... I may blame Zygo just, just a little. And the reason being is that this firmware is coming from them. So they should be doing better QA on it. So, you know, I still like my 6100. It's still a great little radio. Um, it really bummed me out that I went out to a Parks on the Air activation, got there, and had no radio to use. And I sat there for an hour trying to figure out what was going on. So, PSA, don't do the update. Still stand by it. And if you get a chance, throw me a comment. Throw me a subscription. Subscribe below. Um, throw a like on the video if you'd like to. Or if you found something that was entertaining, educational. Uh, if you found something that I could do better. I'll take criticism too. So that's what that comment section down there is for. 
So 7-3 for now, guys. Have a great day.